Hi, my name's Yang Singer, and that's not even the way to say it, is it? I can't even say my own name. Yes. Hi, my name's Yang Singer, and I'm going to be showing you tetrad dissection using budding yeast. I have done three digestions, one at 10, one at 15, and one at 20 minutes, and I've chosen the last. I've inoculated my plate, and I've just placed it on the stage. The first thing I'm going to do is mark the plate just where the lever is so that I have a position to put it back in roughly. I'm in the inoculum at the moment, but I'm, before I start, I'm just going to move to the side to clean the needle. There. The agar is sterile and anything that's on there will come off. Now what I'm looking for are four spores in a diamond shape or cruciform shape. Now I can see one there that I think is quite nice. Uh, I've picked up the tetrad and I'm going to take it to position A1 within the matrix. I'm just going to bring the needle back up to the surface, just like that. They've broken apart nicely. Place this position B1 and separate. There we go. There it is. Try to pick up two as soon as they want to stay together. Now picking up is, is, is fairly fast movement. A fast movement picks them up. The slow, slow movement or agitation in the needle will place them. Pick up that last spore, take it to the final position, place it there. That's it. Now I go back up and check, make sure they're not bubbles in the surface of the agar. Now I'm quite sure that they're not. Now I'll take this spore just to one side a second, whilst I make a mark in the centre of the agar so that I can find position A1 if I have to remove the plate. And that will be seen even if it's out of focus. You can see there's a shadowy mark there. Now I go back to the inoculum to find another tetrad. It goes back exactly in the same position. So had I picked up three spores, I would have been able to pick up the final spore, which would have been here. And that's it. Thank you. Yeast.